Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I pick out a brand new GCSE question that is hopefully designed to help you prepare as best you can for your GCSE Maths. Now, I choose these questions based on data from my Diagnostic Questions website, and I only pick the ones that are causing students problems, and this one is causing a bit of a nightmare. And I'll be honest with you, I can kind of see why, because it's brand new to GCSE, and if you don't know one of these symbols then you haven't got a flipping chance with this question so let's take a look at it you were given that f of x equals that now hopefully you've seen that f of x that's just function notation that's just some rule that we're going to do to x but here's the brand new stuff choose the expression for what the flipping x that f with a little minus one floating around f so f with a little minus one floating around x what does that mean? Well, that is a special symbol that means the inverse function, the inverse of f of x. Now, the la until this appeared in the new GCSE, when did I teach this? Well, this is core three mathematics. This is year 13. So it's pretty tricky stuff, but I'm gonna teach you a nice way of doing it that hopefully makes you realize that once you know what this symbol means, the actual way to solve this is just using something that you've done for years and years and years, and that is rearranging the subject of a formula. Okay, so here's how I answer these questions. Firstly, I write it out as y equals. So I put y equals 2x over 5 takes 6. And then what I try to do is rearrange this equation. So instead of it being y equals, it is x equals. Now, those of you who've either been taught by me or seen these videos will know I use the Mr. Barton patented wiggly line technique to rearrange equations. So I want to get this x all on its own. So I think of it being wrapped up like a parcel being wrapped up. You've got x, what's the first layer? Well, it's been times by two, then it's been divided by five, then six has been taken away. So to find out that x, to isolate that little present inside, we've got to undo it in the opposite order. Take the first layer off. So in, uh, instead of minus and six to get rid of that, I'm gonna add six to both sides. Ooh, help if I actually pressed onto my pad. So plus six to both sides. So I'm gonna add six to the left, so I've got y plus six, and I'm gonna add six to the right. So I'm just left with my two x divided by five, because I've added six to both sides. My second layer was me divide by five. Let's get rid of that by, mul oh, flipping heck, multiplying by five. So I'm gonna end up with five lots of y plus six, which is equal to two x. And finally, to leave me x on its own, I'm gonna divide both sides by two. So I'm gonna end up with five brackets y plus six, all divided by two is equal to x. Now, wait a minute, that doesn't look like any of the uh, answers that have been given here. And that's because if you use this technique, you've gotta remember one final thing, swap your x's and y's back. So I put a little arrow and that leads to y equals five brackets x plus six over two. And it is this that is equal to your inverse function. So just to recap, because as I say, this might be brand new. All I do when I do these is I write it out as y equals, and then I rearrange that equation to try and get it x equals. And then once I've done that, I then swap back swap my x's and y's around, and I end up with my inverse function. So hopefully now, if I glance over at these questions, I will see 5x plus six over two. Ah, yeah, that's looking good. So that seems to be the correct answer. But you know what I'm gonna say here, right? If you leave it there, you've only had half the flipping fun. The fun's just getting going. Where do some of these other wrong answers come from? So how might you end up with a five over two x plus six? Well, I reckon you're gonna get this if you are not careful with your division. So imagine when I got to this point here. If when I divided by two, I simply divided the five by two to leave myself with five over two x plus six. Or imagine I divided by two too early on in the, in the process. So I decided to divide, imagine I was here, and I decided to times by five first to get five y equals two x minus six. And then I divided by two to get flipping 
5 over 2y equals x plus 6. If you divide in the wrong place, if you don't get the order right that you do in these operations, you're going to end up with something like that. Okay, so just be careful. To master functions, you've got to be good at rearranging equations. Okay, uh, where would this one come from? Five brackets, x minus six over two. Well, I reckon that's just a daft mistake. I reckon that's coming from this bit here. At some point, they've done all the maths right, but unfortunately, when they've tried to get rid of that minus six, they haven't changed it to a plus six. They haven't added six to both sides. They've taken six for both sides. You'd be flipping fuming. And finally, this one here, oh, it's unlucky, hey. Just a two and the five, the wrong way around. So maybe they've multiplied by two and divided by five instead of multiplying by five and dividing by two and so on, okay? So just watch out for things like that. Lots of opportunities for things to go wrong. Um, I always like to think as well, what other wrong answer would I pick? Well, you can essentially take your pick. There's lots of places things could go wrong in this particular uh, example. Say for example, we were here at this stage, this stage of the equation, and we multiplied by six. Can you see how we might actually end up with this? 5y plus six equals two. By forgetting that we've got to multiply all of my y plus six by five. So if you forget to put the brackets in, you could end up with that, and then you're gonna go wrong. Uh, sorry, there's a flex there. Then you're gonna go wrong, because you're gonna divide by two then and get 5y plus six over two equals x. And, and you haven't got that crucial bracket in there. Without that bracket, your question's wrong. So to recap, to get good at functions, firstly, you don't have to panic. It's, it's a new terminology and new kind of expressions, but the maths behind it's just exactly the same. It's just rearranging equations. Um, but you've got to get good at rearranging equations. So think of it as a two for one job. If you revise rearranging equations, you solve that topic and you sort out functions uh, into the into the bargain as well. OK, um, if you still need some practice, try the rest of this quiz out. It's a flipping hard quiz, but it's worth it's worth putting to the test. Um, and also, if you need some help on functions, hop on MrBartonMaths.com. You'll find videos, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And I shall see you with a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.